So when we unloaded, Wheeler went ahead and made our deal. What? Yep. How, how much? Five hundred fifty dollars, fifteen bags of stuff. Okay. They so said their camp core market's going down a little bit too, so they're so starting to give us a little bit better deal. We got a better deal. Yep. Yeah, we've been a little soft on the. Yeah. We've been a little soft on the camcorder market. I think it'll pick up this fall again once school starts and everything. Digital's really coming in. Mother cameras are there too, that aren't. The Crazy Picker Life with Wheeler, Dealer, and Banana Peeler. Good morning, everybody, especially fellow pickers and would be adventurers. This is the Crazy Picker Life family. It's Saturday morning. We uh, have to get momentum usually to get going. And we're running a little later than we'd like to, but it's about 6 a.m. And we're just about on the road. Everybody plugged into their electronic devices as, <laughs> as it is on the uh, 2001 and beyond. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, so we're heading to Denver. We got to make a quick stop at the USPS and give the uh, secret, here's my package, knock at the secret door and get our packages in and then we are on the highway. Let the adventure begin. Well, we made it 40 miles down the road before we needed to stop for bathrooms. We've got some... Uh, bathroom trouble my four-year-old daughter is a little car sick and so we're taking care of that at Walmart so this morning we are heading to uh, Denver Mile High Flea Market we're going to uh, do a little picking around there and I'm gonna try to show a little bit of the flavor of our flea market I also need some stuff so I've got to balance my camera work with uh, actually eyeballing and negotiating and buying some stuff and I got to keep track of the whole family since uh, we're gonna have eight people in the flea market which is a little more than we're used to so we are heading there next hopefully well you never know what you're gonna get when you go on a 250 mile trip and unfortunately other than this dog ahead of us trying to bite traffic and bite the center traffic cones here, if you can see that. We got a lot of traffic and slow moving uh, construction and so this is taking a good hour longer than I would like. Getting to the flea market late. See that dog biting, trying to bite oncoming traffic and trying to bite these center cones. It's funny. He's got his head out and then he's barking and biting. Alright, I can't get a very good video of that. Okay, we've made it to the Mile High Flea Market. Moderately busy. It's, uh, I don't know what time we got here. 9, 11 a.m. local time, mountain time. And we're gonna go get a cart at the cart rental and we're probably gonna divide into Two groups here for a little while some of them want to get some food and we got to get bathrooms and get picking so let's get a quick look at smooth shaven wheeler oh first time in four years wow he doesn't have a mustache anymore hi sis sis you when you how do you like it here no, I sam's gonna go wow. swimming Here comes Muma. Okay, so the best stuff that we're gonna find here is gonna be camera stuff. 
We hadn't get here early enough to find too much else. There's a lot of people here today buying and it's just going to be busy and crazy. So we'll find a few other things and if I want to pay up for some stuff, we'll find some good stuff. But it's going to be mostly cameras. So I got to keep rolling. All right, I picked up a uh, an older RC car. It's not a high-end one or anything, but kind of fun. Tyco, probably late 80s, two bucks. I look up stuff, Kate. Wheeler's going after accordions again. Okay, so we got a box full of camera lenses, two boxes full of uh, models, and some sort of instrument thing. 45 on the camera stuff, 55 on 18 models. 10 bucks on the unknown instrument and some sort of crazy clock. Yep. What is it? Uh, it's a Psycho travel alarm clock. Psycho? Psycho. 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 Well, I pronounce it. <laughs> so Wheeler uh, found a bag of camera gear, stuff that he's looking at, and some of the booths are not run by the owner, so she's going to dial them up and put in a, an offer and see if we can do it. And the offer has been accepted. Noah? Oops. Need another pair of shoes? Yeah. Alright, got more camera gear. So I noticed you picked up some camera gear there, Wheeler. Yep. 15 to 200, pretty easy. 15 to 200, pretty easy. Didn't, yep. even, didn't even break a sweat? No, I'm, I'm really rough today too. Like they said, uh, what did you say? 25, I said 15. I'm really... Wow, yeah, Going tough, forward, tough, yeah. rough and tough. Yep. Did you guys get some, uh, did you guys get some food? Oh my goodness. What's on, what's on his cycle? What kinds of characters here at the flea market. So we're filling up the cart pretty fast, mostly models and some camera stuff. There seems to be a lot of models out here today. Mishmashed. Try not to pay much. What do you think, sis? Sis, he's got a friend riding with him, doesn't he? Yeah. Did you pick these models up up there? Yeah. Any, any, any books like that? Yeah, here. I found a camera score. Probably just make an offer on the whole about, thing. Yeah, I'll put all the cameras in there. That's what I was going to ask. There's some other stuff in there. I can sort that out for it. Oh, the well, we would take anything you want to throw in, but <laughs> mostly cameras. You probably got a good market for stereos. Yeah, I do, I do. Yeah. We got a pretty good market for cameras. I want to let you have all of them for a hundred. Okay. We're good with that, Noah. Yep, that's good. Well, there we go. So now we now we got too much too much luggage for the boat. We're gonna have to go shed some luggage. Well, we loaded up, and now we got to go back to the van and put it in the van because our thing is too burdened. What do you think, Wheeler? Where are you hiding? Ah, pretty good stuff. Okay. Well, it's looking like one of those days where you don't have enough room in the van. We've got everybody along with us today and we're supposed to be buying four beds and mattresses for the kids' rooms. We're upgrading all their bedding and bunk beds to regular beds. And so it's going to be a packing challenge later. And then, of course, we're going to have to bring everything into the hotel and or park in a security restricted area so we don't get busted into again. So all in all fun, a lot of stuff here. We just picked up a kick-ass load of cameras with a lot of unknowns, so that ought to be fun to look through. Let's take a ride here, buddy. 
And so we've got uh, another regular uh, accumulator here that we're gonna try to get some good camcorders and stuff from. That would be next. So when we unloaded, Wheeler went ahead and made our deal. What, yep. how, how much? $550, 15 bags of stuff. Okay. They so said their camcorder bucket's going down a little bit too, so they're so starting to give us a little bit better deal. We got a better deal? Yep. Yeah, we've been a little soft on the... Yeah. They sell like one, to, one a week now. We've been a little soft on the camcorder market. I think it'll pick up this fall again once school starts and yep. everything. Digital's really coming in. Mother cameras are there too, that aren't so there's what happens when you build relationships with people. They held on to these uh, more or less for us and every time we come we just get it. So there's 15 bags of camcorders and cameras all at uh, tripler prices. So that's cool. So if anybody wants to come out here to Denver and buy all these things, keep in mind that we do test them and have to sort them and absorb some uh, damaged ones and take some returns and so it's not all cake but we definitely have it streamlined where for us it makes sense but if you want to come out here and look at some of this stuff you know have at it It'd be good good uh, good place to find goodies well as we get to the middle here we're finding bits and pieces and some things we're running out of time because we got a crew in tow and we got some weather coming in a little rain so we're just uh, picking up a few more things here and I bet you will We'll be out of here before you know it. For two bucks, that's great. You know, the people watching and all the activity here, I just love hanging out here. I'd hang out here all the time if I was closer. Here's the future pickers right here. Is this actually real? Well, I don't think so, but it's pretty close, isn't it? You guys finding any good stuff? Yeah. <laughs> you get real Rolexes here, man. Yeah, really? Yeah. Right? We got quite a caravan starting here. Oh, we left Benjamin back there with the, the heavy goods. Well, we just keep going on and on here. You hit the crossroads, you gotta watch out. Okay, while we're winding down, we uh, filled up our second cart. So we'll have a good uh, show and tell sometime next week when we unpack all this stuff. I haven't been showing you everything. But good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Just keep uh, shock and awe. We're only going to be here about two and a half hours total. So I got a... Uh, Oh, one of these life rafts that you throw it in the water and boom, it blows up open. You put it on your airplane if you're flying over the sea. So I got that for 70 plus a climbing helmet included in there. Rock climbing helmet for 70. Uh, well, sold for 250 and another one's listed for 350. Pull handle. What were you saying if you came here every weekend, what would happen? Get fat and broke. Fat and broke. That's better than thin and rich. There's Wheeler studying his watches and then the kids have decided to start drinking coffee today. No, actually they're getting us a coffee. Time for a coffee stop. Uh-oh. What you got? It's been changed to momentum. It's now no longer St. Moritz, but 285 free shipping is the retail price on this watch from Amazon. And that one's broken. Oh, no, it's missing a hand. One of the hands fell off. It's oh, who needs a hand? It's in there. It's in there, though. Yeah. Okay. It's a GMT watch. I know, it's a good one. Yep. Makes all the of coffee. Woo, man. Coffee Ninja's with us back there with his sister. We're getting some new samples so that he can make up some thick stuff. The rest of the coffee ninjas here are with me. And the little guys are sharing a fruit smoother. Just chilling. Storm coming in. Chilling with the chillers. Gotta get loaded up, get to Ikea, get some beds. Oh, shopping. Shopping, shopping. It's gonna be a long 
afternoon shopping for beds and stuff like that at Ikea. Woohoo! I think this will make 20 seconds of log material ending now. Where'd you go, sis? Elizabeth, where are you? Elizabeth, where are you? Oh, are you in there? Come on out. What are you doing? I found a free uh, thin disk. 4 gigabyte UHS-1 micro SD yeah. card sitting on the ground. Okay, we lived, uh, we lived through Ikea. We found what we're looking for. We just had to go unload at the hotel to make room for all the heavy beds and stuff on the ground. And now, we got two big loads we're bringing into the hotel. We're staying at uh, Embassy Suites. It's a pretty nice place. We like it because you get a nice free breakfast in the morning and for our family that's a big plus. It's worth the extra money. You want to help steer and make sure I'm not coming off this thing now? You're not helping much. Jeez. <laughs> Worried about his watch. I've got freaking 18 totes on here. Had it. I've got one hand on it. So they got a free reception at up to 7.30. Pretty nice place. You know what I mean? Yep. Take it a wide corner. So we can go straight in. Get, uh, we generally get some pretty funny looks when we uh, unload and bring all our stuff in. But what are you going to do if we can't leave it in the vehicle anymore? I've already been down that path with the break-in earlier this year. So I'd rather look stupid than have to go through that again. I'm just backing up and going. Got it? Yep. So I think we're right down here. Okay, we're gonna go eat. We got uh, everybody settling in. It's time for supper. And there's all the stuff that we picked. We're gonna repack it as much as we can before we go home. I'd like to say we have our own private Oh, accordion recital. We learned. He could be an old guy. You can get out of it. You can get into it. I saw it, man. This way, sis. Whoa, there's Jumpster. Got your cucumber water. All right, let's go get some food before we fall asleep. So we're eating some uh, food at Ikea, which is kind of crazy, but it's pretty good food. Got the other kids way down there. There's Sis Sis. And we got to eat free today, which is pretty cool. Let me show you how that works. So we joined the uh, Ikea family a while back or whatever. We had 7745 plus tax they deduct 7745 from your purchase today if it's over 100 bucks of course ours is going to be over 100 bucks with four beds but we eat free woohoo okay we got a whoa speed bump arc all day half price sale it's 5:30 i think there's anything left i doubt it but We'll see if we can find something. Well, nothing in the ark for us. Not, not really surprised. There were a few cameras that uh, 
Wheeler said we can make a few bucks on, but that's really not. If we can't double or triple our money, I don't even want to look at it. So, just uh, wasting a little time. Well, lawn shops a little bit. Let's try Savers. Embossed Toeways on sign. Whoa. It's vintage. Yeah, it's not for sale. Well, it's embossed though. Oh, it's embossed, so it must be for sale. Okay, here we go. Savers is having a hula hoop contest. I think, uh, I think Wheeler has met his match. Supposedly 50% off too. Whoa! Snap circus. Okay, guys, I think all these places have been so run through because it's been all day without restocking, and uh, they've had 50% off on almost everything in all these stores. So the shelves are just bare. It's awful. It's almost like uh, it's almost like. Picker, picker hell. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do the trifecta here. Savers, I forget, and Goodwill. Everything's been 50% off, so there's just nothing, nothing, nothing. This is our last chance, and we gotta quit for the weekend. Okay, I'm looking at this uh, vintage open sign, but, um, Wheeler told me that it was not vintage. I think it's I think it's worth three hundred dollars. Oh wait, made in China. Oh, sorry, sorry, banana peeler. It's not vintage like you thought. <laughs> can't be so crazy that I can't even hear. Okay, well. Goodwill or Badwill, our third and final stop turned out to be... Goodwill for once in all ever! That's the first time ever. A couple, cam, couple camcorders for 20 and 25. One's a night shot. They'll both sell for 100 or more if they work, which usually they do. Sony and whatever. So, all's well that ends well. Okay, long day. So one of the things they do at the Embassy Suites, which is kind of nice, free beer, happy hour. And my happy friend. So the kids are in the room relaxing and we're relaxing. Wow, I'm getting a little paranoid. I uh, <laughs> was in my hotel room looking for my camera and I was, I swore I left it behind the TV set and we were gone from the room for about three hours. I'm thinking, where is it? Where is it? Somebody came into our room and swiped my camera? You gotta be kidding me. So I just went out to the van and there it was. So all is well. Okay, well, thanks for watching today. We had a lot of fun today. Tomorrow will be another fun day. And we'll talk to you then. Vlog over. Hey, Wheeler. Dealer Production.